The new Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse has been running in cinemas for some time now. The high expectations of fans and critics have been met in every respect, so the movie is a worthy successor to the popular Into the Spider-Verse. In today's original, we take a look at the next movie in the series, namely Spider-Man Beyond the Spider-Verse, which is due for release next year. Of course, there might be some spoilers, since we'll be talking about the plot of Part 2. We will also include content from the comics for theories about Part 3, which obviously don't necessarily have to make it into the film. So. For those who haven't seen Across the Spider-Verse yet, call your friends, go to the movies, and then come back to this video. Now many are wondering, what will happen next in Spider-Man Beyond the Spider-Verse? Since there was no post credit scene at the end of Across the Spider-Verse, there is no straightforward clue yet as to whether we can expect a particular surprising twist. Nevertheless, there are plenty of unresolved endings that can be picked up, plus a few easter eggs that might already reveal to us what will become important in Part 3. Let's start by stating the obvious. It is safe to assume that the team around Spider-Gwen has an interest in maintaining the Spider-Verse, but that also means that they want to thwart Miles' plans to save his father. We can probably expect a big conflict between Miles and his former team here. However, many fans suspect a surprising twist in which Miles' mother will die in the end. This theory is not too far-fetched. After all, something like that also happens in the comics. The Spider-Verse led by Spider-Man 2099 might also hold a dark secret. Already during the movie, there is some tension between Gwen and Miguel. She doesn't seem to trust the leader very much. Also, in one scene you can see that his mask has vampire-like features, which could be a reference to the comics. There, the main villain is the initially mentioned Morlin, who in turn is the leader of his own vampire family. It is therefore quite possible that Spider-Man 2099 hides more behind his mask and has his own agenda. But there is also the villain's spot who keeps seeing Miles as an enemy and wants to kill his father. The fact that Spot is getting more and more powerful due to his ever-increasing number of spots on his body has already been seen in the movie. Even at the beginning of the second film, when Spot is not anywhere near as powerful as he is at the end, he was an extremely tough villain to defeat. It seems likely that he can't be beaten without an alliance of all the available Spider-Verse heroes. However, it is improbable that Spot will be the only bad guy that Miles, Spider-Gwen, and the likes will have to deal with. Indeed, a number of fans believe that the so-called Sinister Six will make their debut in the Spider-Verse in Part 3. On Earth-42, for example, J. Jonah Jameson mentions the Sinister Six cartel. Also, there are many company names that have striking similarities to the members of the Antagonist Squad, including, for example, the Vulture Corp, a Sandman-style Rolex, the Electrophone, and many more. In addition to the three Easter eggs, there are references to Dr. Octopus, Mysterio, and Kraven the Hunter. While none of these things provide clear evidence, we can well imagine that this theory will later become reality. Another storyline that will gain significance is the yet-to-be-unveiled revelation of Miles' identity to his family. Speaking of identity, in the second film, Miles is shown to have a very different career on the crime-ridden Earth-42 with none of the superhero fame. In fact, on this planet, Miles is none other than Prowler, and it's not unlikely that we will learn more about the latter's history. Another reason is that Mahershala Ali as Uncle Aaron and Donald Glover as Prowler are two top-class actors who have been signed up for the dubbing, and it would seem appropriate to show more of them than their comparatively short appearance in Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. As you can see, many questions remain unanswered, and for some, the ending of Across the Spider-Verse may be unsatisfactory due to the cliffhanger. The wait for the story's closure in Part 3 shouldn't take too long, as the planned release is barely nine months away. The team for Beyond the Spider-Verse remains mostly the same. Joaquim Dos Santos, Kemp Powers, and Justin K. Thompson return as the directing trio. Phil Lord and Chris Miller will also keep on working as screenwriters and will finish telling the story together with Dave Callahan. In addition, Daniel Pemberton once again provides the movie score. The unchanged staff is hardly surprising. After all, Across the Spider-Verse and Beyond the Spider-Verse are considered one coherent movie in terms of story content. The situation is similar when it comes to the cast. Here, too, all the key characters are expected to make another appearance. In an interview with Collider, however, Lord and Miller hinted that despite the numerous returnees, there is still plenty of room for surprises. One possibility, for example, could be Cindy Moon, aka Silk, who will also get her own series later on. In addition, a Spider-Woman animated movie is being considered, a Miles Morales live-action movie is in the works, and Spider-Man 4 with Tom Holland is likewise in development. 
Here they could take the opportunity to set things up with appearances in Beyond the Spider-Verse. Will the release of Beyond the Spider-Verse be postponed? The fact that parts 2 and 3 are closely related can also be seen in the proximity of the release dates. The development of the second film began even prior to the release of Into the Spider-Verse in 2018, while part 3 is now scheduled to be released just a few months after its predecessor. However, as Spider-Gwen star Haley Steinfeld recently told us, she currently hasn't voiced a single sentence for part 3. While that had been the case for part 2 over a period of four years, we hope that this is not a bad sign for the planned theatrical release of Spider-Man Beyond the Spider-Verse on March 29, 2024, and hope for an early, culminating conclusion of the film series. And that's it for our new original. We hope you enjoyed our theories regarding Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. What are your ideas about the upcoming third and presumably last movie of the planned trilogy around Miles Morales and the others? Which of the new Spider-Man projects are you most looking forward to? And how did you actually like the current installment? Questions upon questions! Write us your responses in the comments!